This is the Turnigy NTM prop drive 3536A 1400 kV outrunner motor. This is my motor of choice for medium sized planes and FPV platforms that need a good power and uh, acceleration and weigh about 1000 to 1800 grams total weight. It weighs 120 grams or 4.2 ounces. The overall length is 39 and a half millimeters and the rotor diameter is 35 millimeters. The shaft on this motor does protrude from the mounting side of the motor opposite the rotor therefore it must be either mounted through the firewall so that the propeller is on the opposite side from the motor or you can get one of these adapters for under three dollars which screws directly to the face of the rotor like this. The prop would go on that shaft and then the spinner applied. Optionally you can use a dremel, a hacksaw, or bolt cutters to very carefully cut off the shaft on the opposite side although this may be left in place too. It comes with 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors already attached which is quite handy. The motor is rated for 550 watts, 55 amps maximum on a 3 or 4 cell LiPo pack. This is the Turnigy Trust 55 amp ESC with a 3 amp switching BEC from Hobby King. It has very large heat sink and cooling fins which I'll show you in a moment and it's worked very well for me on my uh, heavier planes and my FPV planes particularly when running the NTM prop drive series. This speed controller weighs 53 grams or 1.8 ounces. It is supplied with a 3.5 millimeter female bullet connectors attached. It does not come with a battery connector. XT60 is my favorite but you have the option of soldering on whichever you like. This ESC has two large capacitors, generally considered uh, the more capacitors, the greater the cooling ability for them, so that is a plus. And you'll see although it is heat shrink everywhere, um, I do recommend removing the upper part of the heat shrink to expose these very generous uh, cooling fins and heat sink. This when exposed to the airstream will keep the unit very cool. And you'll notice that about half the thickness of this speed controller is comprised of that heat sink and you can use that to protrude through the foam board body of your airframe if that's what you choose to do allowing the actual tips of the fins to be flush with the outside of the airplane but still be exposed to the nice cooling air. Here's an example of that with the Synapse where I've actually mounted it on the bottom with the fins protruding up to flush with the outer surface of the aircraft but protected uh, from debris and uh, on landings. This does have a 3 amp switching BEC. That's a fairly generous uh, battery eliminator circuit and will power probably up to five average servos and your receiver. Beyond that you may consider using an external BEC but I personally use this uh, onboard BEC with good success and as the name implies I do trust it with my uh, GoPro and my expensive uh, long-range FPV equipment. The Turnigy Trust line of ESCs is programmed with this unique programming card specifically for that series and you can program in several parameters including the battery type, acceleration low or high, uh, low voltage action which can be ignore, reduce power or stop motor, timing auto medium or high, rotation normal or reverse, that's very handy as not to have to swap the bullet connectors if you uh, change propeller direction, the switching frequency 8 or 16 kilohertz, and the brake on or off. This is the most crucial setting and this is easily done by moving the jumpers to the desired position simply plugging in the speed controller and then powering it up and you'll be met with a single long beep and that will tell you that all of these settings that you've just uh, put in have been programmed to the ESC. For this test I'll be checking out the Turnigy NTM prop drive 3536 1400 kV this motor is the powerhouse of the Experimental Airlines fleet, seen here on a metal motor mount, which I use to adhere to the gift card, which is itself glued to foam board with several layers stacked high to match the height of this. This is the motor of choice for the Ainsley PD, the Synapse, and any of the other larger planes you might have seen in my fleet. With the 1400 kV rating, it gets excellent power, and it's not too inefficient, although the kV is a little bit higher than one would like for ma maximum uh, efficiency. To power the test setup, I will be using three Turnigy Nanotech 2200 milliamp hour batteries connected in parallel.
What follows are individual screenshots of each of the test results with master air screw props of 10 and 11 inch diameter and pitch of 4, 5, and 6, plus a couple of three bladed props. Please remember this testing isn't intended to be an exhaustive examination of all power plants and scenarios. It's just some of the combinations that I prefer to use on my fleet. You will probably prefer to skip straight to the spreadsheet compilation of all of these results, the link for which is in the description below.